new, 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 new. It's time for new. <laughs> All right. What's new? All right. This is a board from Espresso. It's the ESP West board. Um, there's a training system online uh, from Espresso. Uh, you can see the URL. It's like, you know, ESP-RS. No. Yes, on the back there. Um, training you how to use and program Rust um, and in specific for microcontrollers on uh, the ESP32, which is kind of neat. Um, Rust is a uh, more secure version of a low-level programming language, a great place to move from C or C++. Um, so this dev board features the ESP32C3, which is a RISC-V processor with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. It's also got some buttons, NeoPixel, um, battery charging capability, um, built-in temperature humidity sensor, and built-in IMU, which I think is a uh, six degree of freedom. I think it's accelerometer and uh, gyroscope. I don't think there's a magnetometer on there um, from InvenSense. Uh, so an all-in-one, like it's kind of a, it's a very cute board, but it's also uh, great to, oh, it's also, it turns out, I think it's feather-ish compatible-ish. Feather-ish. Feather-ish. Yeah, I mean, the pin out, the pin numbering looks like it's uh, it could work with feather. Um, so, uh, Check it out. Um, I, you know, particularly this is for if you want to follow along with their um, their online uh, training system. But also a great dev board just if you want the C3 with a bunch of sensors built in. All right, and now in stock and is now the start of the show. This idea lady, our team, our customers, our community is. Yay! The Metro RP2040 is finally in the shop. Uh, we talked about it a couple of weeks ago, uh, but it wasn't Cheer. ready. But now it's available. You can buy it and you can even get a, use the discount code. Can use discount code. Um, so we love the Metro shape um, and series. It's basically allows you to use Arduino shields with new chipsets that Arduino may not have made boards for. In particular, this is for the RP2040. So you've got your dual 130 megahertz Cortex M0 Plus in there. I pair it with uh, 16 megabytes of flash. So plenty of storage for files and images um, and firmware. Um, all the GPIO, I tried uh, to make them as uh, you know compatible with the classic Arduino pinout. So pins two through 13 on the top, uh, the UART, RX and TX pins um, on the uh, top right area there. Uh, I squared C, SPI, and then there aren't six analog pins. So there's four analog pins, A0 through A4, and then uh, GPIO 24 and 25 uh, are where normally you'd have A4 and A5. And then, of course, the uh, power supply, you can give it uh, 6 to 12 volts DC. Uh, and there's a linear regulator that gives you 5 volts and 3.3 volts. One of the nice things about having the um, Metro layout is it's kind of big, so you get to fit a lot of stuff in it, like the Feather. And the cutie pie are designed to be very small, but these are you know, these are bigger boards, and so uh, there's space for an SWD debug port, um, and also a Pico probe port. There's uh, a NeoPixel on there. There is uh, both DC and USB power. There's a Stemma QT port, and there's even a micro SD card slot. So um, what's going on? Yeah, there's a lot there. Cause I was like, well, you might as well just kind of pile it. Pile them on with all sorts of goodies. Um, and it's very affordable. The RP2040 chip is a lot less expensive than the SAMD21 or the SAMD51. And so you can get close to like SAMD51 performance and definitely better than SAMD21 and definitely better than any of the 8 bit, you know, at mega chip speeds um, from this board. But the pricing is, you know, 15 bucks. So uh, your stomach QT port, uh, boot port, um, boot button. Um, you know, the micro SD, oh, the micro SD is also wired up that you could use it for SDIO, uh, even though that's not kind of officially supported um, in CircuitPython or Arduino. There is some example code out there and we verified that it works, but like we, you know, we don't really have SDIO support. Um, and then uh, the RX and TX pins are on a, a flippy switch. So you can swap whether RX and TX are connected to zero or one. So either you have the numerical pins going, um, if you go to the zero five, no, that one, yeah. So, uh, you know, on the top right, um, the logical hmm. order is RX and TX, but the numerical order would be one and zero. And so, like, if you want the numbers to be in order zero, one, two, three, four, five, up to 13, because you want to use um, uh, those pins in order, uh, that's flip the switch one way. If you want it so that the hardware serial port is on the pins that it's expected to be on, uh, you flip the switch the other way. So altogether, kind of like a you know jam-packed board, a really great uh, dev kit for the RP2040. Everything's maxed out, you know, so you can um, design, debug, and then if you want to shrink the design later, yeah. 
use the, KB2040. For, yeah, for the folks who are like, I'm going to use RP2040. Um, we've seen a lot of people do that. They'll use a Metro, they'll design something, and then they'll shrink it down with all the stuff they don't need yep. later. And you can do that because we publish yeah. all the files. Yeah. Right, that is... That's what it's like. New, 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 new.